We are broadcasting live from what's left of Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, one of the few structures to survive the big one. The fans are munching on tofu burgers, sipping Chardonnay, and getting ready for some mutant football. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The purple mutant eaters go up against the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man. How scary was Simo? I don't hear what I was selling him. Hey, man. I was hanging on Simo now. You know what happened? Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. He's taking a field, and with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the quarterback calls a side blast dirty trick. And there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling. Come on, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and five. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Second down in a lot. Watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and a sliver. that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get hey, something going here. An eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? First down and nine. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second down and two. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he's running like a moody 
defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Second down and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Third down and three. And like a monkey trying... Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll be second down and four. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage for the people. And like Bricks' his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. 
The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Hey, go gang up, man. I kill. Kill on up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Third down and eight. position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. It's the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Mul the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and nine. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Now that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. I Oh, the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Crap, can I kill him? And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life.
and it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Briggs started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. Oh. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. First and ten. No, oh, he just got popped big time. Oh my god, I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zip. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Oh, is it that one? Oh, that one over there. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the head. Do something about that ref, you pussies. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. First and goal. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you're game for time. I'm 
Did we get how much? First and four. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and two. And he runs it in for the touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Fumble that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And that'll be second down and four. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die. Third down and long. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Put on a display there. Touchdown. They want more points, so they're going for two. it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my fouls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. I was terrible on Zillow. I don't want to kill an old fellow. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. <laughs> 
Second down and long. Nice run for five yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing the third quarter has ended and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting and it's first and ten oh nice hit Second down and four. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. And he pumps his way out of the first down. First and four. Perfect pass and a score! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Let's see if 
they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Boom! Second down and five. First and ten. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. for a touchdown. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Brad. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to check anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Oh. 
And that'll bring up third down and seven. The defender is one feet just kicked in. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down in inches. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he's for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a drawing in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, win, But my watch is a bit slow. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Second and three. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitors. And he just slipped away like a... He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Down and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. Well, that 
play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. The damned are losers today. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.